Hey guys, I'm Dave Cariello from Canal Street Chronicles. Welcome back to another edition of our Saints Mailbag series. What up with that? We're kicking things off uh, with a question from Black and Gold Forever who asks, besides the first game against the Atlanta Falcons, which game on the Saints schedule do I see as being uh, a statement game for the team? I would have to go probably with the San Francisco 49ers. A lot of people, I think, would say the Seattle Seahawks. Um, but uh, I think there's a history there with the Niners, uh, with the knocking us out of the playoffs in 2011, beating us at home again last year, uh, and, of course, going to the Super Bowl. Um, I think it would be way more of a statement for the Saints to beat San Francisco and finally get that monkey off their back that I think they've had on their shoulders since 2011 and that devastating loss to the Niners. Um, but really and truly, you never really know until the season plays out because, um, you know, if the Niners turn out to really not be such a great team because uh, Colin Kaepernick stinks or something like that, uh, you know, then, then, then that game becomes much, much less of a statement. So it really all depends on how the season plays out. But as far as it stands right now, I'd go with the Niners. It's time to talk a little bit about uh, training camp. Tack Hammer has a question. He wants to know, now that we're about two weeks into training camp, who do I see as uh, the biggest disappointment and the biggest success so far in Saints training camp? Biggest disappointment, I would say, would be Jason Smith, left tackle. He's been a turnstile from everything I've been reading and hearing and seeing. Uh, reports are he's barely given Charles Brown any competition. That's a little disappointing, but not that unexpected. Um, the biggest success, you know, there are a few people I would say that stand out. Uh, you know, Junior Gallette could be considered a success, but he's been with the team for four years. So um, Kenny Vaccaro, I would say it's great to see him uh, making big strides, even though he's a first-round draft pick. Uh, you know, he's still a rookie, so it's good to see him progressing as we would all hope and expect. And um, if uh, we'll see how Eric Martin does, but uh, I mean, if he's as good as people keep saying and if he winds up uh, playing as well as he's been playing, I would say that would be the biggest success for him to make this roster being an undrafted free agent. Um, so there, there are a few people there that uh, fit that bill, which is uh, good news for the Saints, of course. Ben D gives us our next question, and he asks a question I've already been asked multiple times, but I'll answer it again anyway. He wants to know who I think is going to win uh, the Saints versus Falcons in Week 1. Uh, call me a homer, but of course I think the Saints are going to win. Uh, I do think they have the, uh, obviously they, I know they have the home field advantage. And, uh, and under Sean Payton, the Saints have uh, sort of had the Falcons number, so I would say the odds are in the Saints' favor. Uh, so quit asking me that question. Saints, baby. We'll end it today with a question from Legatron Morstead, who wants to know whether I agree with everybody who says the Saints are going to come back with a vengeance in 2013 and win the division. I'm assuming he's referencing because of, you know, Bounty Gate and uh, Goodell and Gumbo Gumbo Gumbo, yeah, blah, 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 uh, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I certainly think that the Saints' goal is to come out and win the division, uh, but I don't necessarily think it has to do with anything that happened last season. I think it's just because that's their goal every season. They always want to win the division. What NFL team doesn't? Uh, so, yeah, I think that's going to be their goal. Will it happen? No, I, I don't think it's necessarily given to them. Uh, you know, I don't think just because of what happened to them last season doesn't mean that divine intervention is going to happen and the Saints are going to win the division. Um, it's going to happen because they built a good football team and they had a good offseason and they have good coaching. Um, as far as how I think the team is going to do this year, I would put them at 10-6. and six. That would be my final record guess. guess 10-6, and six, maybe hopefully 11-5, and five, but they'll definitely make the playoffs. I think they'll be good enough. Okay, kiddos, that's it for me. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of our What Up With That Saints Mailbag from Canal Street Chronicles. I'm Dave Cariello. See you next time.